Go to Dashboard, Plugins, Add New. To install the plugin, simply upload the zip file you've downloaded here. First, go to All Emails. Here, you can edit available email templates or create a new one using Add New button. In a template, the left zone here contains all components you need to build your email template, including basic elements for WooCommerce users, like the order details to show the order table in nicer way, or order total, subtotal, billing, or shipping address, shipping, or payment method, coupon, customer note, all separated so you can organize them how you want, and other components that will bring your emails to the next level like socials contact for user to easily reach out to you a great way to add a personal touch products post menu bar to list the items you want which will be helpful for advertisement and text image divider to make the email look interesting and imprint awareness of your brand identity many other elements with full customization settings for you to get the most out of every email you send you may choose a built-in sample in this list or build your own by dragging and dropping the elements and modify them in the editor field. A completed email template after being built may look like this. After you finish building an email template, make sure the email type is assigned here. By default, when an email is built from a blank page, the type will be default template. The email type assigned here makes the template send when it's triggered. This direction option will help if you're using right-to-left languages and want to change the element direction. The template rules help you send different templates to different group of customers or products, or based on how much they spent. Priority is for cases when you have multiple templates with the same rule configuration, for example, two templates for customers with Germany billing country. The template with higher value here will be sent. Configure the rules according to necessity. Billing countries, product categories, min, or max order subtotal. You can attach files to your email by this button. The files you selected will be sent along with the email. These files must be affixed instead of dynamical, which means the file data does not change according to each user or admin's data. This function let you see how the template looks like on desktop and mobile devices. First, choose the order here to preview. For the demo data, it'll get first real order in each status. Click this to send test email to your admin address, or add any email address here, and send test email to that address. There is a notice here letting you know if the test email is sent successfully or not. With this option, you can export the template design and import it back to another blank template. It can only be used in our plugin, you can't import the current template to ones created by another plugin. But you can do so among different websites, as long as you use it on WooCommerce Email Template Customizer. First, export the data and copy. Now go to another page, place the copied data here, and import. If you use any plugin that creates its own WooCommerce emails, their emails will be displayed in the form of default template. It's the mutual template for almost all third-party emails. To demonstrate, I use a custom order status manager plugin and create a custom order status called Shipped. Now this status is listed in the WooCommerce email settings. And you can check the template assigned by this edit button. It's the default template assigned. One important note is that only emails which are listed here can be displayed in default template. 
Otherwise, the plugin that creates these emails is likely not using WooCommerce function or WooCommerce email class to send emails, so our plugin can't interfere. Now you may see the shipped order email in default design and after using our plugin, If you're using a third plugin that adds additional information to WooCommerce email, you can use WC Hook to attach this information to our template. For example, I use one that add an extra field in checkout page like this. And an order tracking plugin that adds tracking info to WooCommerce order confirmation emails. The birthday info is the order metadata that can be checked here. You can see in the default email, the tracking info is showing above the order table and the birthday info is below it. So I drag the WC hook to the template. One above order details for the tracking info, selecting the before order table hook. For the birthday info, we must use the order meta hook instead. Now let's check the result. To add info of order metadata to email template, other than the hook, you can use shortcode. The specific shortcode is in the description box. Add the shortcode to the text component. and check the result in the preview mode. You can modify the global attribute in background image or color. Click this background button. Responsive point helps you control how the email shows on desktop and mobile views. The higher responsive point, the bigger element. For example, if you want the elements on mobile look smaller, add a lower value here. You can't view the change with the preview mode, but you can send a test email to check this, it shows immediately without having to hit the update button. Change the template width. Lastly, change the background image or color. If you need custom CSS for your template, you must get the class in the preview mode. Hit the preview button. Right click, then click inspect. And now get the class in the preview email to build your custom CSS. This function is for cases when you want to use WooCommerce default email on some specific email types. In the WooCommerce emails list, find the email template customize column. You may click this edit button to check the assigned templates. And disable the emails which you don't want to apply our templates. When this email is triggered, it'll send WooCommerce default design instead of our template. When you use a multilingual plugin, like WPML or Polylang, there'll be a rule for language here. You just need to select the language for this current template. When the action to trigger the email is done in that language, the template will be sent.